actually have it? Because there may be some. There may be something else. Ms. Clark, if you could call the uh, case. Uh, call for us the Daniels or the Indes. And the motion stands on for uh, prob it's a scheduled probable cause this afternoon. Correct. And counselors, if you could stand and introduce yourselves for the record, please. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, Council, if you could stand and introduce yourselves. Good afternoon, Your Honor. James Sultan with Michael Fee and Charles Rankin for Aaron Hernandez. Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, now the matter presents on the uh, probable cause uh, proceeding. Commonwealth? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the Commonwealth is requesting a continuance um, based on the nature of the, uh, the evidence before the grand jury. This, um, as Your Honor will well remember, on uh, June 17th, in the early morning hours, a murder occurred in uh, North Attleboro. From that time, the grand jury began to sit and hear evidence. And as Your Honor uh, uh, well knows, the spring grand jury ended in the, at the end of June, so June 27th. It was a two-week lapse before then a new grand jury was in panel. Since that time, that grand jury has heard um, evidence consistently. Um, approximately uh, two dozen witnesses have been presented, records, and other evidence, including out-of-state witnesses. So we're requesting, Your Honor, based on the evidence uh, that needs to be presented. Uh, are linked together. The potentially exculpatory information, it sounds like an ongoing obligation that the Commonwealth would have in any of go forward today. That's correct, Your Honor. The Commonwealth should be required, as this court ordered four weeks ago, to go forward today with a probable cause